Oh, so you think you can just waltz in here and get the tech news whenever you want? Who the fuck do you think you are? My favorite viewer, that's who! Yay. Here's the tech news. RTX laptops are about to get a whole lot more super, and as that super lame play on words suggests, an internal presentation slide has leaked showing the upcoming mobile iterations of NVIDIA's RTX Super GPUs. The slide compares the relative performance of laptops with an RTX 2080 Super and 2070 Super compared to the vanilla RTX 2070 and 2060, and so on. The slide does not include a vanilla RTX 2080 in the comparison, presumably because that would make the super performance uplift less appealing, but it's no secret that the super variants don't blow their weaker predecessors out of the water. It's not clear when RTX super laptops are coming, but if you guess sometime this year, I probably wouldn't react with a pfft, yeah right! I'd probably be more like tss, yay. Yeah. In other NVIDIA news, the company's GeForce Now cloud gaming service continues to bleed game titles as questions arise concerning licensing agreements. The latest developer to pull their games is Hinterland, an indie studio known for making The Long Dark. Game director Raphael Van Leerup he tweeted that NVIDIA didn't ask permission to put the game on GeForce Now, so Hinterland asked for it to be removed. The situation has brought up questions about the nature of cloud gaming services like GeForce Now, which allows users to play games they already own on other platforms using cloud hardware provided by NVIDIA. Should developers get another kickback when people play their game, which they already bought, on NVIDIA's hardware? Do I have to pay extra to play my copy of Halo on my buddy's Xbox? Even though I'm only doing it because he doesn't have it? Really, he should be paying me! <laughs> we should be paying you! You should be paying. Where's the money, buddy? The buck stops here. And canceled events watch continues with the latest victim being Google's I.O. developer conference. No, it's, I, my, it's actually my favorite. The show was originally scheduled to run from May 12th to 14th, but now Google will be exploring other ways to connect with the developer community because of the current health crisis that we can't say the name of because also Google. The crisis is causing Google to conduct all interviews over Hangouts instead of in person. This is just People have to just download Hangouts? Oh, no. <laughs> and many other companies are being cautious as well. NVIDIA is hosting its GPU technology conference as an online event now, and a number of high profile attendees have been canceling their plans to attend South by Southwest. That event may be canceled as well. Even movies are being delayed with the upcoming Bond film, No Time to Die, moving its release date from April to November. Oh my God, David's gonna lose it. <laughs> There's not much to say here, except that we hope things get under control soon. And also, wash your damn hands. Stop shaking hands. Yeah, jeez. We don't need to be meeting people all the time, you know? Just how about a, hey. What are those? Hey, across the room. Hello. <clears throat> yes, see you later. Now it's time for the quick bits. Ominous day us. <laughs> it's enough. These quick bits are brought to you by private internet access. The VPN with over 3,000 servers in 32 countries. You can't even travel that many countries. You can pretend you're there with PIA. PIA lets you mask your IP address and encrypts traffic to and from your devices. When combined with private browsing, you can make websites think you're in a different country. Ha! Joke's on them. PIA has configurable encryption and an internet kill switch so you can stay in control of your connection. Trying PIA is risk free with their seven day money back guarantee. They've got clients for Windows, Mac OS, Android, iOS, and Linux with support for up to five devices at the same dang old time. So check them out right now at the link below. So what the heck are quick bits anyway, you know? <laughs> what a character. In a twist of cosmic justice, you can now use an Android phone to jailbreak an iPhone. <gasps> iOS jailbreaking exploit CheckRain just got support for Linux, the OS on top of which Android is based. So we can finally begin the important work of unplugging our iOS brothers and sisters from the matrix. You're free now. No one can be told what Android is. <laughs> you have to see it for yourself. <laughs> Google has rolled out the Reddit, read it? Read it. Reddit. Read it. Read it feature for Google Assistant. So you can now ask it to read it or read this page and the assistant will read it aloud for you. And it'll even translate it into 42 different languages. But you don't speak that many languages, oh. right? Once again, I don't have a joke about this. I just think it's really cool. Is that allowed, what? Riley? What the, what do you mean? Ah, oh, jeez. You're such a disease. ARM processors just took a big step toward nabbing some of the server market away from x86 with Ampere's announcement of its 
Ultra 80, that's Ultra with an A. Yep. Altra. 80 core ARM chips, which are now rolling out in both single and dual socket systems. This isn't to be confused with Nvidia's Ampere graphics architecture. I mean, there's only so many dead physicists, I guess. The test was taken, so. There's a lot of words, guys. <laughs> Use other words. A couple more. Samsung just put bendable glass on the Galaxy Z Flip, and now scientists in Australia have developed a process for making bendable concrete. Uh, hmm. Pretty cool. Uh, my question is, when will it stop? Because if everything in the world becomes bendable, actually, that'd be pretty awesome. Yeah, trampolines everywhere. You're a trampoline. <laughs> Yoga teachers, just <laughs> wages, no. And if you thought your phone was safe from hackers because it's just sitting there on the table in front of you, no, think again. 2020 is worse than that. <laughs> because a type of hacking called a surfing attack could activate your phone's voice assistant using ultrasonic vibrations produced by a tiny device that you can't hear, but dogs can. Oh. Just joking. The tiny device can be mounted under a table. So we have to check under tables all the time, like it's like the post-Watergate era. <sighs> but wait. Nope. I want to be a secret agent, so uh... <laughs> this is, and if I'm really bendy. Uh. Oh. Is all the stories are, uh, better that. end this episode now before it makes even fewer sense. I mean, less sense. Damn it. <laughs> Come back on Friday for more tech news. We should have our, our heads sorted oh. by then. No guarantees, though.